What's the direct sibling home? Back to yet another reaction today. We are hopping into Gilmore Girls episode number 13 of season number two, A Tisket, A Tasket. I don't know what that means. Uh, last episode was, of course, when our boy Richard went to Stars Hollow. Thought it was a really good episode. Um, hopefully, this episode is really good as well. Um, not sure what to expect. Not sure where, I mean, not sure where things are going to go from here. Um, Jess was on the thumbnail, so he's going to be involved somehow. Uh, but yeah, let's hop in here. Let's have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe. Patreon for the full reaction. Here we go. Oh, it's quaint, isn't it? The women get to make a nice lunch basket, the men get to bid on it, and the world rotates backwards on its axis. I think it's fun. That's because you have a pretty boy to bid on your basket. What's that? This is a picture of me. It is? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have a picture of me in your wallet? Oh, uh, well, it's a very nice picture. Thank you. Why do you have a very nice picture of me in your wallet? I'm a stalker. <laughs> or? Or when in my daily travels, I run across a nice single guy. Oh, oh wow. God. You're trying I to like set to her have up. a visual aid to help me with a wonderful buildup I give you. Patty, I appreciate the gesture, <laughs> but I don't need you to try to set me up. Oh, Chance, really? sorry to intrude. Then why did you? Well, you're having your vertical from here to be turned any moment right in front of the super glue. Oh. Not that that's not an appropriate place to be doing it in front of, but here's your glue. <laughs> Thanks. As you were. I'm fine with the whole hating him thing. Thank you. I just think it's a waste of energy. You know, I'll have a power bar. Fine, forget it. So, uh, I should probably get back to work. We still well, have I wonder design. if we'll bring that. They never brought up that look that they gave a couple episodes ago. Okay. About what? About re upping my lease. Mm hmm. So, what do you think? About re upping your lease? Yes. Well, you have a very nice kitchen. Don't see why you shouldn't. You don't? Nope. Oh, okay. Fine. Um, I just wanted to check with you first. I gotta go. Gotta sneak back in my house. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> For her. He's a good character. I just... Okay, I have five dollars. Do I hear ten? Ten dollars. <laughs> Withdrawn. Okay, I'm still at five. Do I hear ten? Everybody's scared. Five going once, five going twice. Some member people, good things come in small packages. Jesse's gonna, uh, Jesse's gonna bid on this, isn't he? He's gonna be a dick. Let's start the bidding at three dollars. Hey. Five dollars. Now that's the He's good. He's very good. Five dollars. Ninety. Ninety dollars. You're a dick. You know, I don't think he'll have to. Okay, we've got ninety going once, ninety dollars going twice. Why? You're a dick, yeah. Sold to the nice young hoodlum in the back for ninety dollars. Oh, hoodlum. I'm trying to think uh, in, in what scenario the situation could be construed as positive. I'm glad you enjoyed. Yes, I did. So shall we? Shall we what? Shall we go? Go where? Go eat. Excuse me. The person funny. who buys the basket wins the company of the person who makes the basket for lunch. Basket. Basket maker. Yeah. Now. Shut up. Oh mm. shit. What? Well. Oh come oh, on. Yeah, you it's tradition. Know. No, I don't believe should. this. Yeah, it's true. Bad. My mother and I have been doing this every year since we moved here. So buck tradition. Are you kidding? Do you remember how mad Taylor was when I was sick and I couldn't go to the turkey calling contest? Fifteen dollars. I have fifteen dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Oh, I have. I don't think Jackson's gonna bet. Final offer. All right, fine. Twenty-five. Kirk, <laughs> you just offered twenty. You up your own game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we stop the bidding for just a second? Suki, you know the rules. Yes, but I. The, we have twenty-five dollars. Do I hear thirty? Jackson. Thirty. If there's uh, pie, there are no contingencies, Andrew. <laughs> 35. Andrew? Jackson? I'm not going any higher without the problems of pie. I have 35 <laughs> going once, 35 going twice. Oh, wow, he's, he's really... You. I gave you all the signs, the, the pointing, the waving, the mouthing. You literally that's said, my yeah, that's my basket. You mouthing? Yes, I saw the mouthing. Well, why didn't you bid? I don't know. I don't know. It just didn't... Look, I'm sorry. Well, why didn't you say something? I didn't want to ruin anything. We're doing so well. We have so much fun. It's all working. Why would living together mess all that up? I don't know. We'd see each other every day. We see each other every day now. And you'd find out all my annoying little quirks. Nice couch and a deep knowledge of Freud. You have to come out and bid on my basket. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I have never in my life taken part in one of these crazy group flip-outs. I'm not about to start now. But okay. Right now, out there. Just yeah. buy your own basket. Oh, I cannot buy my own basket. Why not? Because that is pathetic. And chasing me around my diner, begging me to buy your basket? Also pathetic, but that is a pathetic I can live with, where that pathetic is a truly pathetic pathetic, and only you can save me from the double pathetic. 
You rock. Thank you. You're welcome. So what do we do now? I guess we eat. This? Yeah. I have to have to buy it and I have to eat it? Hey, the basket of botulism does come with my company. Huh. You don't eat with your mouth open, do you? Women don't eat at all. Just look at food and jump on the treadmill. All right, let's go. You know, there's nothing there. Yes, I know. You going after him? Not right now. So then, shall we? Fine, come on. You need to know. Like, she has to know what's happening. Yeah. And she has to know the game he's playing. Ah, Kirk. Been looking all not. over for you. I don't understand. Henry should have called by now. Give me some change. Oh my god. It's not working. Great. Oh, Is that lunch now? I'll be right back. The phone. We're oh, supposed no. to be eating on the ground. Hello, Henry? Lane, I've been trying to call you. I know the payphone is broken. I thought the number was wrong and I didn't know what to do, so I What? You what? I called your house. Oh. Your mother answered. What no. did you say? Well, I asked for you and then she asked why and I said because and she said because why. And I got nervous and tried to sell her a subscription to the Wall Street Journal. Oh, where is How do you know? I know. I know. You're sneaking, you're lying. That means something's wrong with this boy. There's nothing wrong with this boy. He's perfect and he likes me and I was so afraid to tell you about him that now he's going to take somebody else to the prom and I blew it. You go upstairs right now and calm down. Fine. Now. Fine. Dear God, her mom sucks. Her mom's a bad character. That is not coming down. Her mom's a bad character. Don't care. Like a really bad character. Okay. Where are you going? Thought you didn't care. And I just was looking at him and he's standing there all tall and mad. And I just, I don't know. It was, it was really funny. It wasn't funny. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't intend to do it. Liar. Any better? I just don't want to be. I think we should get married. But, uh, but. Soon. Are you pregnant? She said. <laughs> Suki? Yes. <laughs> I say yes. Oh my god. And the right guy and drag him out to this thing and make him buy your stupid basket and then you'll be sitting out here with him. Yeah. Someday. <laughs> you know what? I'm not great. Oh, Dean, it's just a silly town thing. I know, and I've been telling myself that, and I tried to go home and forget about it, but I can't. I'm worried about Rory. I don't think she should be hanging out with this guy. Well, I know that today was kind of... It's got nothing to do with today. I mean, yes, it has a little to do with today, but it's more than that. Ever since I met him, I had this feeling that he was bad news. Yes, Jess has a few issues. Yeah, one issue is that he's a complete jerk. I mean, he's always getting in fights at school. That is, when he bothers to show up at all. And he just... I don't know. Now this whole thing with Rory, it's like he's always around. You sound jealous. What was a plan? What? The whole bidding on my basket, it was a plan. Okay, I'm officially starving. And officially evasive. Come on, I'll get you a pizza. Answer my question. Do you like pepperoni? Not going to, are you? We can just oh, get it on half if you want. Okay. I give, let's go. I'm just surprised that you're hanging out with him, that's all. Why? He just doesn't seem like the nicest kid. Well, you don't know him. No, I guess not. You're just judging him by that one time that he came over here. Which, by the way, was not a rousing success. He had just moved here. He was mad at his mom. Trust me, he's got a really good side to him. You'll see it eventually. Good, I can't wait. Mom. No, oh, well, I'm sorry. It's, I just, uh, I don't know, from the things I've seen. You've been discussing this with Dean? No, he discussed it with me. When? Today, Rory, he's really upset about this. So he went running to my mother? No, he needed someone to talk to. Well, he could have talked to me. No, he couldn't, because you were off with Jess. You're taking his side? I'm not taking sides here, okay? I'm Swiss, babe. I'm sorry, am I boring you? No, you're not. Sorry, Grandma. So how are things at the inn? Fine, the same. And Rory, how's that boyfriend of yours? Apparently very chatty. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You dating Jess? What happened to Dean? I'm not dating Jess. No, but he's trying to weasel his way in. He's not yes, trying to yes, weasel his yes, way in. How where? don't you in see Rory's it? world, he has his eye on her and he's <laughs> trouble. He's not trouble. Yes, he is. How don't you see Rory, this? if your mother thinks this boy isn't appropriate company for you, then you need to listen to her. There. Thank you, Mom. Make sure she doesn't make any ridiculous choices in her life. Took it to the extreme, yeah. Emily. Took it to the extreme. Would you excuse me for a sec? Oh, she's going to do the opposite and say that she trusts her. The judge of character and the fact that he seems to like you gives him a couple of brownie points. You're not a little kid. I don't actually think you ever were a little kid. I was for about a month. Oh. 
if you think he's a decent guy, I have to respect your judgment. Thank you. Not about being. For me, it's not about being careful. decent. It's that you, literally the guy really likes you. Careful. He's trying Ooh, to pull you away from your boyfriend. Bubble, kind of careful. I promise. And you have to cut Dean some slack. He's so crazy about you. He didn't mean anything by coming to me. He just. Hi. What are you doing? Nothing. You? Nothing. <laughs> yes. Your fault. And you oh, will pay. No. I promise. Commit to it one more time. And if it still is awful for you, I will make it up to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But that feels mega realistic. <laughs> like a real thing that people like that, like a teenage girl that's the good girl would actually do. Where another guy is showing her attention. And not that Dean isn't showing her attention. But another guy that you wish she relates to, probably more than Dean, is showing her attention. And what I mean relates to is because of like the book smart and everything. And he treats her. Oh man, trouble is a brewing, man. That's gonna the end of the I don't think Dean and I don't think these two are gonna be on good terms by the end of the season. Uh that was a really good episode. Uh nine-ish, eight, eight, nine range, I guess I would say. I enjoyed almost everything that happened in the episode. Um I'm, I'm gonna give it a nine. I think I enjoyed everything. It progressed a lot of stuff. And not progressed it a lot, but it did some. It, it put things in motion that I really enjoyed. Uh, the Su the Suki and uh, Jackson stuff, the Lane and Henry. Is his name Henry Cho? What was his name? Uh, the the uh, Lorelai and the Luke situation, the Jess Dean Rory situation. I mean, they moved a lot of things in interesting directions, and it could be could make for a really really good second half of the season. Um, so yeah, I mean, other than that, what are the things I didn't like? It was anything I didn't like. It wasn't like an emotional punch, but I did love the argument. Um, I guess we we'll have to go through it and see. I don't know if I, I can. Oh yeah. Um, Miss Patty trying to set up Laura Lai, but I didn't hate that either. I thought, yeah, Miss Patty wants, knows Laura Lai. She deserves to be happy. She's trying to find her some love. I mean. I liked everything. I don't think I loved everything, but I liked a lot of stuff, and I loved a few things, a few choices that were made. But let's go through it. Start off, we're shopping for these baskets for this thing that they're holding in town. Patty has a picture of Lorelai, which she uses to show guys. Dean and Rory are kissing, and here's Jess being douchey Jess. Because, you know, he's a dick. <laughs> um, and he just wants to be with Rory. Then hop over here. Um... Patty sent Lorelai some pictures. Jackson comes in, talks about his lease, saying that maybe that maybe Rory, I mean, maybe they should move in together. Well, he's he's inferring that, but like not coming out and saying that. And Suki doesn't really look at it like that. Then we got Lane trying to do all these crazy things to get a date with her guy that she likes. Uh, we have the bidding. Um. Jess and Dean bidding for the basket. Of course, Jess being a douchebag, doing it on purpose to piss off Dean. Rory trying to say that, trying to tell Dean that he's not doing it to be mean, but he clearly is. He even comes over and Dean tells for her says that she can't go, which she says I, I, she has to go. It's a whole thing. Realistically, this is how I would react probably. If I know, even though Dean has not come out and said, I know that he likes you. If I knew that the kid liked you and he, I don't know, I would. Dean looks at it like he's trying to mess with him, but it's more than that. So then we have Jackson not uh, bidding on the basket. He says, why? He's like, oh, I, I thought we were going to move in together, but we're clearly on different wavelengths. She says, I have thought about it. They make up. Everything is good and dandy. Lorelai's basket is being bid on by three guys. She figures out who they are. They're the guys that were sent by Patty. She then goes get grabs Luke to go put on the basket. Luke buys the basket. We then have Jackson try to buy the basket from Kurt. Is it Kurt or Kirk? Um, Lorelai and Luke bonding here, uh, which is something I like. I like them bonding. They're going to end up together. For the show, they're going to end up together. It's a matter of how they do it. Uh, then we have Lane calling her guy. Then 
the guy that she likes, then all of a sudden, it's like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I don't want to have to do two laps and all this other stuff. Like, it's too much. It's too many obstacles. He says he asked somebody else to prom. She's getting all emotion or cries. My one thing about the mom, the mom is not a good character. The mom is a one-dimensional character. She's overprotective. The person has to be Asian. All these things, right? You've, in this situation, it made me really dislike her character. I hope they let her character grow. But the fact that Lane can't date somebody else that's not Asian and she has all these things and all these rules and I don't know. She's almost too cliche of a character for like, and I don't like her. Then we have these two bonding. Just says he wasn't, it wasn't a plan. He was just doing it to piss off Dean. Jackson suggests that Suki and him get married or that they get married together. These two bond, which I really liked. And then Dean comes to Lorelai and tells her about everything. Lorelai agrees, but doesn't really say it there. She says it later. Jess and her bond just like, kind of lets it slip that uh, he was a plan a bit on Rory. And Rory says, why is, do you, why is do you treat me better than everybody else? It's a whole thing. After pizza, they go to the bookstore. They hang out the whole day. It's not good. Lorelai brings it up, says, you know what? Jess is not good. He's bad boy he's all this stuff pointing out all the obvious signs that you would believe Roy would see but she is clearly blinded to because she I think she I think she likes the feeling of like of just liking her or an awkward dinner here with Emily Emily agrees with Lorelai Lane's mom then decides to he was Korean dude he was Korean like I don't know very I don't know I don't like the character um, Emily says that, you know, you have to do what's right. You know, you have to be the her, the eyes and ears. You have to be her brain, you know, get her through the bad boys. Lorelai doesn't like that. Talks to Rory, says, you know what? I don't want to be like my mother. He agreed to all this stuff. Um, I trust you. Bam. Go home. And then Rory calls Jess. Calls him. Now, this is a major problem. No boyfriend. No person that you're like you're dating is going to be cool if you calling another person of the like another person to talk to like dean is good like this is messed up this for me is like signs of oh we should probably break up dean and her because it wasn't like she called because of the book she called because she wanted to talk to him has nothing to do with the book Jess makes it about the book, but it wasn't about the book. It was about something else. It's dangerous. Uh, but yeah, that's my reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut, unedited episodes early over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool. Episodes here whenever they show up. But I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.